Hello and uh, welcome to this Isaac Hall with the probably now fortnightly podcast because I'm just very busy with university. Yeah. <laughs> when there's news, that. when there's news. I mean, last week there was no news, mm. this week there's loads of news. So, yeah, mm. wow. I guess obviously from well, the title. Uh, I More say enough. News. There's enough to talk about. Like the Yeah, news there's enough to talk about. So, yeah, yeah series 13 is only, has, has begun filming. It began on the 2nd of November. So, it's already been going uh, a little bit now, 12 days. Well, hey. That's quite a bit, actually. You could probably like most of an episode in that time if if they were mm. filming consistently. Um, but yeah, because of COVID, it is only going to have eight episodes, which is in like obviously fair enough. And in some ways, yeah. my first opinion is I'm glad that we're at least going to get Doctor Who next year. Like I feel like even though we're having to like wait a year and a half, and I. feel in some ways, I think we would have waited that anyway, regardless. Maybe like mm. a year and a quarter. I don't know completely. But um, yeah, I feel like what? I'd prefer that we'd have Doctor Who rather than have to wait extra long to get all of them. Because I feel like it will just, you know, it's not good. It's not good for the show's health if you, it's, you know, irregular times. And So, yeah, I mean, like, it makes sense as to why they would of course reduce the episode count though it is a bit of a bitter pill to swallow when we've already like had it reduced by several episodes from you know what we had before so it's like we're getting even less this is gonna go by so fast <laughs> yeah i mean i in, in a way i can agree that yeah it's just better that we got a series um but at the same time like would is the overall series going to be significantly uh, negatively hampered by this fact? Um, because you know, presumably they had like a full like series of series like written, or I planned. assume, yeah. So, um, I, I I don't know how you know it will affect like an ongoing arc or whatever, but you know it. This... It, it might it might hamper the actual quality of the se- series kind of what i'm getting at i mm. mean yeah well i yes i would prefer like you know a, a less episodes in this series with higher quality um or like you know in in a way but yeah it's it's just it's I mean, it's a shame, but you know, like I, I'm just worried about like how this will actually, I guess, affect the series. Is the point I was trying to? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, and then you went for enough a minute to say the same thing. Same uh, thing. Yeah, yeah I, know. <laughs> I know. Wow, that was some deep stuff there. Quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so good at making my points. I make the point. You make the point, and then you, detail say, you go a really long point. route to then get to the same point. <laughs> I was meaning to say something else, and then I kind of forgot what I was meaning to say, and then I just kind of rounded it up on the same point. Fantastic. Kind of I happened. mean, at least you're doubling down. That's that's what everyone likes. You, <laughs> know? you stick so. to your point. You're not going to be wavered. I'm it reminds me hope- of like one sketch I watched, watched which was like um, realistic football commentators or something. And they were just like going over the same points over and over again. Like, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, he kicked it real good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he kicked it real good. You know, I really liked it. Either. Just like the way he kicked, kicked it. it. You know, it was just like the way he moved his foot <laughs> forward. <laughs> they just over talked about the point that yeah, it was a good pass. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, but going back to Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I I hope for just kind of a bit like though series seven part. I mean, series seven as a whole is a bit of a mess. Um, yeah, but one thing i did like about uh part two kind of even part one was it was i did like that kind of every week was super different you know kind of a genre of movie different type of thing and i say do that again i don't think it was the it was that attempt that style of doing like a blockbuster every week i don't think that was the issue it was just sadly the the scripts weren't just quite up to scratch Mm. you know journey to center of titles was a great concept didn't quite you know work out and hide was great but i I prefer on rewatches i've got a bit more on board with it but i mean i was ready for a super ghost story that it ended up a weird 
romantic what well, i don't know like a weird romeo and juliet um yeah, i'm not too fond of it still but <laughs> um but it, it didn't completely land is what i'm saying and the rings of akatane yeah. is very split and you know cold war i i like i think that's a solid one um but some people are like retread a dalek i can see that but i thought it was good it was different enough for me that it was it was fun um, the environment alone was kind of different yeah and i, I liked i liked I love the Ice Warriors, you know, and I'm so glad yeah. that we saw them in series uh, 10 as well. I need to watch that again. Uh, mm. Empress of Mars was awesome. Um, I just like seeing Ice Warriors. Awesome design. Uh, but mm. yeah, so I'm hoping that maybe they go for something like that. They just do like episode one, two, three, four, five. Because what I'm guessing, because they're doing eight episodes, that's going to count the festive special as well. Yeah. So either they tag that on the end as part of a series and there's no gap at all, like they just go kind of straight into it. Um, yeah. Or there's like maybe a two week gap, like what they did with basically series 11 and the, the, the Dalek yeah. special um, resolution. Um, so I, in some ways, I hope that they do like, either way, it doesn't matter. Either you do six like really standalone stories and a two part finale so seven and eight or you do five and then two and then a festive special mm. i think like mm. it's always nice to have one two-parter because like a big thing of doctor who is the cliffhangers like that was a big thing of the classic era and i just always enjoy being like you know writing yourself in a corner how the hell are they yeah. going to get out of this you know like mm. i thought that the cliffhangers for uh well okay i thought that spyfall's cliffhanger was fantastic i thought it was a really good one mm. Um, and uh, Villa of Diodati was good. Sadly, yeah. Ascension of a Cyberman was just a bit of a dud with just the master jumping through mm. the portal. That was a bit of a dud. Um, yeah. But, like, I still enjoy the two part as I enjoy the what the hell's going to happen, you know, next yeah. week. You know, I enjoy that. I like the the discussion and the, the trying to work out, see if you get it. I don't think yeah. I've ever been right yet, which has always been nice. Mm. Um, but, you know, I was. Uh, well, I, don't, I think I think we might have as a couple. Like I think, well, twice upon a time I basically called entirely. I think oh, yeah. after that one cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, I can't remember any other time. So, but yeah, I mean, actually, that's one point though. Like, why didn't they just split the series? What do you mean? Like, like, do like a part one, part, part two, two of this next series, well, and just like okay. have like part one release when well, you this know, is this when is they the say thing. this is the thing. Is Jodie gonna leave? This will be her third series. Is she gonna leave at the end of the festive special, and the next series will be the new Doctor? Is she gonna I mean, want to stay on and do another season? Will she be the first actor to do four seasons in the role? Hmm. That's the big thing. Well, well, like, a, well, what what I meant more was, I mean, that's. Well, I mean, we'll see about that. But like, with the reduced episode count, I was just asking why didn't they like go for like a full on like series seven, part one, part, part two, two, or like you know, I guess scheduling, I guess the way money, I don't know. There'll be some reason. Mm. I, I, like, what's the two things which are on my mind? If Jody's leaving, fine, they'll keep whatever scripts they had planned for the next Doctor and put them in the next series, which in some yeah. ways is fantastic because there's more time to perfect them and get them just mm. right like you've got to think i mean i just finished series two so basically at the moment i'm watching from 2005 all the way up to modern day i just want to kind of really watch them quite close to each other and just see you know how i like it changed and really what era is my favorite and series one is banging i'll tell you like they had more yeah. time to work on it they had they were writing yeah. those for like a year a year at least before it even went into production mm-hmm. at the moment they've got such they've got limited time it's like you gotta yeah. be fair on them like they have maybe mm. you know three months for f- three months yeah probably about that to, to write a full episode if yeah. what, well the usual what we've lost three episodes that's three episodes that have like an extra year to be worked on like mm. and either either so yaz leaves and but jody stays on so then you because i'm guessing that from what we know it sounds like bradley walsh and, and ryan seem you know yeah um, although there was already. another article which potentially i i read just like oh you know it mentions him here in like some I think it was somebody's resume or something as being a part of the next series. Although, you know, that could easily, like, be, like, a... some sort of, like, mistake or, you know. But, like, 
you know, <laughs> I guess that was just one point in the other direction, whereas, you know, like most signs indicating, you know, it's that the, he uh, really... It was the children in need thing where you get to go around the set with, you know. Right, they tell you to go around the set and you get a phone call with Jody and... Um... Yasmin. Yeah. Yasmin, yeah. So, I mean, that doesn't necessarily confirm anything. I mean, it's maybe you know for all we know they could just not the main thing was that be about. Cole took, <laughs> took a job in another series like a lead role that was the main mm. thing that was the first thing which kind of pricked up ears like, yeah because that was like last year as well um mm. and it would be weird for him to stay on and bradley walsh to to con- to continue and, and and ryan to leave it wouldn't make much sense maybe they'll do a thing yeah. where like they decide to stay home and mm. Then every now and then, a bit like the uh, you know David Tennant era, characters would pop up. Like the one thing I've loved about watching series one and two is just Jackie Tyler and Mickey Smith. Like the most underrated part of both of those series are those guys. They really hold it together and they really make it something like special. Like every time Mickey appears in an episode, I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I love him as a character. Mm. I mean, yeah, in Rose they do a bit of a they're making him a bit of a drip. Um, but yeah. to be fair, the bit when he's in the lair, that's actually supposed to be a fake Mickey to find out that mm. the doctor's got the anti-plastic, which is then why they kind of come out and grab him because he turns. And, yeah. and then there's a, it's supposed to reveal there was enough of Mickey, but they kind of cut that completely. Um, yeah. I mean, and, and I think I mentioned this to you actually in like when we were briefly, I mean, we talked about a little bit on Twitter, but um like, I think in terms of Mickey, they certainly handle them better in a novel to ways they actually, you know, properly established that this is a really nice person who, you know, actually, you know, he's, yeah, he gets scared and, you know, he's... I would be. Like, but, it's like he, he's fundamentally a really nice he's... person that Rose is just, you know, Addicting. badly, yeah. like, you know, treating really badly. Um, yeah. Whereas in this, you know, like well in the original rose you watch it and you're like there doesn't seem to be very many redeeming things about this guy in the, in the original uh, rose just in that particular like later on you see is a good point yeah. but like in rose yeah. in particular yeah. like to be honest it's not too bad though because like three episodes later you're at aliens of london and he's much better in that like it was pretty yeah quick it's true change but I, I just think they could have done him better in the first place, is I what I was so. saying. And I, clearly, Russell T agreed, hence why he did. There are lots of other problems with the novel, but that one part in particular, I think they really did improve um, yeah. in regards to the novel adaptation. But so. yeah, that's that's what I kind of hope in that maybe, like, you know, hmm. they're not completely gone, they just appear every now and then. I think that's like something that's missing, which I think definitely was its strong point, was it's like, it's kind of like the MCU style thing, you know. You have characters mm. which pop up every now and then, like. The, the... They they did a little bit with Yaz's family, but like <sighs> not much to the point. Yeah, but they never discovered the aliens. It was never, you know, it's never like to that side. Like Jackie knew mm. that her daughter was traveling in time and space, and like, like, and what I love about Love and Monsters is that gave time to Jackie just to to see her point of view when she gets left behind. And like Love and Monsters is a gem. I don't care what people say. It's actually a whole lot better because it's like it's the only time we're ever going to see like that kind of side. They're never going to do an episode like that again. And that's why I'm so glad that they did it. Yeah, the Absorbal Off kind of sucks, but I'm more like Linda as as the team. You know, I also I kind of always want to know what got the other guys interested in. You know, you kind of hear a bit, but you never know like their complete yeah. story. And like I just love that side. I love the concept of just a group from nowhere because people would yeah. notice like th- there would be people out there like Clive mm. and Linda you know people who would notice and uh, Linda Big Finish spin off when <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not sure it would just be them playing music and <laughs> reading <laughs> fan fiction <laughs> um, I'd listen to that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I don't, I'm, it's, I'm missing that that kind of world that I mean, like, they brought Jack back, which was, like, mm, fantastic. Love that guy. He was so great in a yeah, It's nice he brought one. him back. Just wish they'd actually, you know, did more than have him sit on the spaceship for, like, well, half an episode in the Well, it's something further, uh, for sure. It has to be. Like, if they don't do anything hope with that. so. If they but... don't do anything with that, that's, like, basically... Maybe that's part of the episodes that have been cut. <laughs> 
Nah, I don't think Chibnall would cut his own episodes. Um, you I'm, don't know. Uh, maybe maybe he's only writing it? the finale. He'd probably open the opening and then the two-part finale, so that would leave... Hmm. Well, it depends if they do it as the Christmas oh. special. So Something either he's writing like four, <laughs> or he's writing <laughs> Sorry. three. Is he writing four or three, kind of thing, depending if they do the festive special as part of the series or if it's like separate but i mean jody might regenerate in the festive special that might be it new doctor again <laughs> another doctor <laughs> yeah it's, in some ways i get it because you want to do a new series you don't want the colin baker yeah. syndrome where you do a really the first episode and you've got a gap until the next series like <laughs> it's, it's dangerous isn't it because if people don't like them they have to wait then like a year until like, sure, but but David Tennant was what? okay because he had a couple of months. Same with Matt Smith; like they had only three months between them appearing as the Doctor, and then. I mean, it, it's 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 fine to do it at the end, of course, but like you know, like the end of a series is. There's more of a build-up. I, I think usually it's... better, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, especially like as far as the Christmas special is concerned. Merry Christmas, kiddies! The Doctor's fucking dead. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but um... I mean, yeah, that's why they did David Tennant on New Year's Day because I like fucking hell, can't do this on Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, they did. Uh, <laughs> they did Matt Smith. Yeah, Matt Smith was Christmas. Capaldi was well. Capaldi wasn't even supposed to be Christmas. That was Chibnall. Yeah, it was like... supposed to be, but they did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, rubbish, stupid. But I get it. I get it. <laughs> if you wanted to do a female Doctor, introducing them on just Christmas probably wouldn't be the best. I don't know because you. It's, kind it's of, fine in it, that in itself. If you had the series close to follow, but we follow. didn't need that a Christmas special. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I should have just left if, it. If it was so arbitrary, it just didn't need to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. But they took ages to get going with filming that series because they didn't. Because see, the thing is, when it went from David Tennant to Matt Smith, they were actually kind of filming simultaneously like they started mm. the new series as the specials were still kind of like end of time was at least being filmed it yeah. kind of it was a bit of a crossover or or it was at least like instantly they started filming it's yeah. like end of time part two finish but they didn't do that with like series like 10 and 11 like and that's the thing which weirded me out because if you're changing the whole team you might as well you know get this new series out as soon as possible to be like yeah this is the new direction mm. like that's what i liked about when going from Russell T to Stephen Moffat was we only had like three months between we, yeah. um, what well, you regenerated January 1st, 2010, April 3rd, 11th hour. Like, you know, it mm. wasn't, wasn't long at all. Well, Chibnall seems to take forever to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're only doing eight episodes because they actually ran out of time to write anymore. They're like, Oh yeah, <laughs> COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ran out of time. Oh, oh gosh. But um, <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously that they, they, they um, were planning on, on doing. Um, yeah, and they they probably got a full season written, at yeah. least in some form or other. But clearly, they take you know just axed a few episodes. Yeah. Which... Well, well, I hope they haven't axed them. I hope they just they're keeping them back. And like, yeah. So if Jody stays on, you just change, and the companion leaves. If it's just Yasmin, you mm. just change whatever the companion says they can still do the exact same things in the episodes you just change how they talk because it's a different you know i like... mean that can be quite well that can be glaring hence you know stuff like robots of sherwood <laughs> you know when it's happened before it's not entirely worked out oh really was that that was yeah that was supposed to be a new companion that was a matt smith that was very clearly a matt smith episode. oh <laughs> right yeah that was yeah the matt smith episode yeah but that was like changing that was like the whole like feel of it but if you're just changing the companion i mean they did that with like a lot of series nine wasn't supposed to be clara and she decided jenna coleman decided she wanted to stay so mm. then she did like then they, they just rewrote the dialogue to then be clara again like i think it's doable like it's not yeah yeah it's not impossible i think it's pretty easy because companions usually do the same thing get in trouble help solve a solution there we go you know that's it yeah you just yeah. change slightly how they talk and what they say and maybe the way they approach something you know easily doable basically yeah, yeah. but we'll see i mean do you think she's going to regenerate do you think jody will leave in the at the end of this uh, episode eight of next series 
or festive Maybe. special. I mean, when you count all the gaps, she's actually been the doctor for quite a while now. Because well, <laughs> it, it has over quite a long yeah. period. It's like, so, you know, like, I guess we'll see. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think we've had an indication either way, so I, I can't say. I mean, it you know, logic, like you said, all the modern doctors haven't you know lasted beyond. But yeah, David Tennant did quite know. a few years, but he just did specials for two thousand nine. His last one, yeah, yeah, exactly. Which exactly. is fine. I wouldn't mind if she just did a couple of specials and then regenerate. You know, like whatever. I don't really mind. I just yeah. I I would just be sad if if like it, it, she didn't get like her full run. I feel like you know I still like so mm. far. I feel like you know the doctors always really come out as being their best in their final series. I feel like Capaldi was definitely his best in series ten. I feel like yeah. while Matt Smith's episodes weren't as good later on, I feel like he was like he really got into the role by series seven. Yeah. Like he had his. He was because, you know, series five was a bit kind of David Tennant ish. Six, mm. he was getting there. And then seven, he was exactly his own incarnation. Mm. You know, when I think of the 11th Doctor, I think of mainly series seven. Yeah. Really. I think of that yeah. really confident in that role. Um, David Tennant, yeah. series four, later on. I mean, he was great in the early seasons as well, don't get me wrong. But yeah. it's like, it's always towards the end of their era. Mm. They Christopher really... Eccleston was great in his final he was season. Great. I mean, he was really fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I just get, couldn't get any better. Like he 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 left at the peak, you know. Um, he really left at the peak. Uh, I miss <laughs> miss Chris so much, man. His his smile is so fucking contagious. Like when I'm just mm. watching it, he has the most contagious like smile, and it, it was so good. Like loved it. One thing I loved about series one as well was people would like come and go in the TARDIS. You know, like yeah, the Knife Doctor was like inviting pretty much anyone. And I feel like that's kind of gone, you know, like, I've, like, why didn't Osgood join for like an episode or two? Or, or, you know, like just just now and then it's nice to have like someone who just lasts a couple of episodes. It's nice. I loved I loved I remember when I was a kid, I loved that Mickey joined them in school reunion and then stayed on for uh, Fireplace and then the Cybermen two parts. I love that because I, I liked him and I felt like, you know, even as a kid, I saw that arc of him wanting to see everything out there. Um, I mean, th- th- yeah, this kind of. Yeah, it happened throughout, well, especially like throughout the Russell T era, because you also had like Martha come and go later on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even Moffat did that a bit. Kind of Rory was like that for a while. Yeah, kind of. And I love that. I love so, that build up. That you know, sometimes people aren't quite ready yet, and then they join later. I like that. Hmm. Uh, and I feel like yeah, that's like, I think that's the issue when you have free companions. You don't have any room to do that. Like nothing yeah. to, like. And, you know. and also, Adam was a really interesting idea. Yeah. A Some failed kind of companion, what, basically. The failed companion, yeah. Yeah, and I, I thought that was, you know, that'd be interesting to see something like that again. Like, I feel like maybe the Doctor's a bit too, I don't know, picky at this point on who she takes. It's like that's it, no one else. Like, I feel like the Doctor would be more like anyone. Like it was like you know, even throughout, like you know, Madame to Pompadour, um, Linda with a with a Y. Funny enough, same mm. name uh, from uh, Bad Wolf, Parting of the Ways, like. She would have been a like she was. It was so set up. You thought that she was, and then they killed her yeah. so horribly. Hmm. And like, yeah, amazing. Um, it like even her like pretty much as she leaves to go like with Jack, she like looks at the TARDIS as if she can't wait to go see the stars, mm. and it's still like mm, gut punch. We don't get that anymore. Yeah. Like we don't. <laughs> that's like so much I love. Like those tiny things, so tiny. Like, and it doesn't matter that like yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I feel I, it would be a shame, in my opinion, if Jodie kind of only gets these eight episodes and that's it. I, I would be pretty sad. I'd prefer like to mm-hmm. or have a series where it's one Doctor for halfway through, regenerates in the middle and the second Doctor finishes. Why? Yeah. Like, what's the rules to say we can't do that? Like, if Chibnall well, stays it hasn't on... happened in a long time. <laughs> like, the first to second did that. Yeah. And then like, Six Doctor got like an additional episode at the end of like the fifth yeah. Doctor's last series, and well, obviously that didn't work out. Uh, no, but, like, <laughs> don't do the twin dilemma, and that's why you have a couple of episodes. So you do like next series, you do what they do their usual eleven. Well, maybe the three that Jodie has, 
then a new two-parter where she regenerates, and then the rest of the series is new Doctor. Because hmm. then, if you still have the same companion from the start, yeah, then you have them like coping with the Doctor's change, like barely know them, and they've changed. Like that's quite a lot to deal with. Yeah, and then, then the rest of the series and two-parter at the end and festive, and you, you've kind of you've done that change. You've done all the new Doctor. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. And what would get you more like? viewers i feel was that people would feel like oh so there's going to be a new doctor within the series well i better watch from the start of a series and yeah. go all the way through you know and like then it stops the dip in the middle like usually you know there's that dip in ratings in the middle like that's what moffat always talked about and that's why they did like the monk free parter because he wanted to keep interest in the middle mm-hmm. and like that would definitely there'd be no i don't think there'd be any dip really maybe episode three but then like four or five would be a two-parter so you know yeah. and regeneration story always gets to be in figures that's the way i'd do it if because yeah. i feel like because then jody wouldn't have to be there for a whole nother series so she could just do the first bit you know that would be half what 10 shooting mm. months that would be five months which wouldn't be too bad i feel like yeah i feel like and then you've got the three episodes which were written before so don't even have to like pay writers more money you've got that so actually mm. you're saving that money that's the way i'd go around it if that would be allowed um mm. if she wanted to leave maybe she wants to do if she'd do enough a series um completely you know, up to her it'd be interesting if she, i'd be happy if she did I, you know i always think like yeah, i always think like free is just not quite enough yet just to fully especially with the kind of well i mean the reason why it's always been three is because i, I that was kind of what patrick Troughton was saying i think that's what he told peter davison it's kind of kept like that yeah especially like post you know tom baker in particular it's like <laughs> mostly <laughs> yeah i wouldn't mind one staying for like four though but i guess like f- three year- well three series is basically like four years really because i mean technically david Tennant was a doctor for five yeah but i mean well he was one one episode into but yeah he would have filmed in 2005 so yeah it was basically five years because 2005 six seven eight nine like that's like hmm. where he would have been filming from yeah so yeah and they were very intense like i think they did like nine months shooting which makes me go hmm they film 11 in 10 months usually and they can't do the usual 14 that they used to do in like but, but nick it's, it's, it's <laughs> even do it i don't mind if you do a doctor light episode like whatever like sure maybe yeah, that's, that's why fine I, like like i like those they've stories. had great success with doctor light episodes throughout like the russell t era in particular like yeah. i don't see why they're so afraid to do that again maybe they're like want to do their own thing i guess i i understand it you want to put your own stamp on the show and do your own direction if jody does yeah. regenerate do you think they'll choose another woman and or do you think they'd go to man i don't know um i think well, the pen. Well, because I think Jodie in particular is important for like establishing that Doctor can be more or less anybody. Um, so I, I don't know. Maybe they'll pick another female Doctor, or maybe they'll just go for it, casting it um, completely like yeah. non, like not going out with like a specific like I want this kind of person as a Doctor. Just like cut auditioning anybody. Really, yeah. I think might be kind of what it goes forward and then they start to center their vision of the doctor around whatever actor they or actress they pick yeah. in the role i guess will be kind of what i think they'll try to aim for going forward it's just not not really considering that aspect as much i guess yeah yeah if yeah, it's. Yeah, I think I think they'll go have enough a woman. I feel like Chibnall will be someone who just does females for his era that the whole time mm. is here. I feel like that's gonna kind of be his key standout thing. Will be he'll be like the female Doctor era. Um, mm. I feel like yeah, because obviously he did like the, the uh, oh, which one the Joe Doctor um, like yeah, what yeah. is it? What, roof is it? the Roof Doctor. That's it. Um, Joe Martin. Yeah, the Roof Doctor. Mm. Which I feel like in some ways robbed like having like an actual like the full time doctor, you know, be the first, you know, black female yeah. doctor. I feel like, you know, doing it as like a side character makes it like diminishes like the specialty of it, like how like mm. important it is and like 
I think like she's she was amazing as like oh, yeah. the doctor. Well, I thought yeah, I thought she was very talented. Amazing I wasn't... casting. However, yeah. like it's frustrating that she's just like this. She'll never be the the lead, you know, in in charge of like yeah. the series, you know. I, I was thinking about this, and you know, well, you know, the actual how she was written wasn't great. Yeah, in terms of like the actress, she did a great job with the material she had, and like I remember I was thinking back to kind of what we were thinking like when Jodie was initially revealed and I know there was like various things that we were thinking back then but like one of them I remember very clearly saying was um that I would have imagined like the doctor to be maybe a bit the, few, the first few I doctors maybe be a bit older and a bit you know kind of more hardened yeah uh, basically Joe Martin and, and kind of mm. yeah and, and kind of the roof doctor is kind of who I was in a way, almost picturing. Yeah, you know. and I love. Uh, well, in terms of the actress and her kind of how Demeanor, tonally she yeah. portrayed it, like I think I, I would have lo- actually quite enjoyed like you know, her to actually have been like our current top driver. You know, Jody. like like Jody's very talented. It's just the interpretation of the character in itself is hasn't entirely resonated with me. I suppose just in terms of how it's been, she's been written. And you know, in terms of the actual personality, I suppose hasn't I hasn't think, entirely hit it. I guess. Yeah, I feel like this is, and that's why I'm kind of excited for the next series because I feel like maybe they'll finally, you know, mm. get into that groove. Like first series was always rocky. I mean, like watching Tennant, he's kind of a bit all over the place, and his mm. first series is kind of you know one week is super yeah. serious all the time and like kind well, of a bit facetious, it, and then other times is it's, it's like he is a bit all over. Good that, episode, that, that, though. Yeah, no, there has there, there was definitely inconsistencies, especially early on. But like in terms of how they've actually characterized her, like she's mostly been well in terms of how she's actually played it. It's been mostly relatively consistent in terms of the bubbly and a slightly more excitable kind of doctor. I f- and. Do you think it's the depth that's missing? I feel like I feel we got a glimpse of it where she was a bit more yeah. with the master. I think we got the best of this doctor so far. I think her best yeah, scenes so far have been opposite um, the master. Um, like, I'm not super fond of the timeless children, but like in terms of how the doctor, I think that was probably yeah some of Jodie's strongest moments came in that episode just in terms of like her coming to terms with all of this well you know the actual ideas itself wasn't you know <laughs> exactly what i wanted out of it like how she actually played it was you know Fantastic. really strong and like gave like an extra you know it, it, it was a strong performance yeah for sure right we've been going on for fucking ages on this yeah. daleks <laughs> exclamation mark episode one um what the archive of is loss right mm. okay so animation not great I think Utterly we knew that we knew that going like, in and, you, you know like in particular like one thing i noticed like as we went along like the fire yeah, yeah like yeah. in particular the fire was that's weird. it's worse than n64 level that fire <laughs> like it's it literally looks like origami coming out of building. i found it like so bad in some <laughs> ways i kind of liked <laughs> In a weird way, I kind of liked how like rough it was. In some ways, it was it was like <laughs> what I d- found weird was that the Daleks were just flying around and just shooting at random, even if it was into the sky. Like it was just like yeah, that was that stuff was weird. I felt like I feel like Daleks would only shoot when they know they're about to hit a target. They wouldn't just be like they just want destruction, <laughs> Nick. They don't want to hit the archive. I did. Like the- yeah, I know. It's like, I don't want to damage the archive, but let's just shoot like well, fucking crazy. Again, have... I, don't, I don't even... <laughs> but anyway, I thought that at least the story was interesting. I I liked seeing like, the, the voice acting was good. I liked seeing like the more manipulative side of the Daleks. I liked the strategist. I liked the, you know, I thought that was interesting. I thought that was all, and I liked the executioner just wanted to fucking kill. I liked that they had yeah. slight person. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's something that's been missing from Daleks, at least nowadays the fucking personality like the individual personalities and i find that really interesting you know daleks have specific roles the executioner just wants to fucking kill everyone it's just like yes i killed the bunkers and like he kills like half of those robot things at the end you know he just just because like 
they traitor them like the emperors to stop them you know like mm. he would have killed all of them yeah i mean that dynamic particularly the, the strategist was a big part of um defender of the, of the daleks in terms of the um time world victorious thing so i'd already kind of gotten to know the strategies uh, i don't think the execution was really a part of that the emperor certainly was and um yeah the dynamic itself is interesting between like the two like the, the like it's kind of like the, the, the it kind of does kind of show the split in kind of the dalek's personality because you have like the the hyper aggressive dalek you have the um hyper thinking dalek and then you have kind of the emperor which is kind of the in between of them so yeah it was kind of it's an interesting dynamic um in it of itself but i think throughout time of victorious and you know we've already kind of you know, seen a bit of this with Defender of the Daleks. Like, I think there are more. Like, it, it's interesting to see the personalities, but like, yeah, the the um actual like execution of the plot to me just wasn't that great. I mean, they only had ten minutes or something to do it. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, like I can't. In that time, it's very difficult to pull something together, especially on kind of seemingly the scale is they i mean it's a, they're doing quite big scale i mean like i could not mm. see them doing this story with you know actual actors and stuff uh, to me this is like a big sure? finish <laughs> with some visuals this is like big finish with some visuals that's that's what i'm more treating i'm like i knew that the animation was going to be a bit I... iffy coming in like so i was kind yeah. of prepared for that so to me it's mainly just is the story any good and it's got some kind of fun amusing visuals to go along with it like yeah. it's it's it was the dark and that's what when i said surprisingly good i was more talking about like i like that they gave the daleks personalities like i've wanted like in the actual yeah. series series i've wanted just yeah. a dalek episode for ages because the best daleks really i think has been like you know dalek sec fi khan and i i love mm. those guys because they, they were great you know they had slightly slight personalities but this is even yeah. more exaggerated, you know. I, I like that. Like uh the Dalek like Emperor, yeah. you know? Like yeah. he was I loved his deep voice. I love like I love the strategist how in this he has like mm. kind of like more of a slimy voice, like a high high pitch mm. and the execution is deep and yeah. I enjoy that. And it's free. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like it's free. True. I, Though, like I said, I th I think there are probably gonna be better ways of like showing these different Dalek characters in like the other forms of Time of Victorious Media where they actually have more time slash I guess yeah in the case of the books more paid space to actually develop them more. Um whereas you know ten minutes wasn't really enough. I mean it was it was, like I said it was nice enough to see them like inherently like you know having them show up. And, and be like the main part of this is was no that was fine that was perfectly fine it's just in terms of act the actual episode itself it's like nothing really well i mean you know like in terms of like the matchy the daleks actually trying to strategize and manipulate that was that was in and of itself interesting it's just the i mean again it goes back to the presentation it's not just the visuals but like the animation was very, very limited. Well, the animation... Well, of course, we know the animation was limited. It's not just in terms of how it looked, but the actual animation itself was very limited. And that also... Like, in terms of, like... Yeah, sure, they thought it, like... The Daleks blowing... You know, attacking him and blowing up a city. But, like... One, you kind of don't get a sense of that... Yeah, I mean, you kind of do, because you kind of have them like fire lasers from above the planet but like in terms of the actual attacking it, it it's that you can see the limits to kind of where the budget ends kind of throughout it and like it was all quite distracting and most of the whole thing was just like the daleks are sitting in their spaceship and these other robots are sitting in the archive and they're both bickering at each other <laughs> like ultimately it's like this isn't particularly interesting or really like and again there, there are limits but like the action was limited enough it's to where it's like one. this is kind of like even in 10 minutes this is sort of like quite unremarkable and a bit flat <laughs> really 
I don't know. I'm I'm interested to see where it goes. At the end of the day, it's like to me, it's just it's free. So yeah, but I know. lost ten minutes. I'll never get back. <laughs> ten minutes doing what, Conrad? What were you done with those ten minutes? Uh... <laughs> Take ten minutes to uh, decide I'm... what you would have done with those ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <bad. laughs> at least I would have just like, <laughs> something at the end of it. Something. <laughs> I've seen you take like 10 minutes to decide what Doctor Who episode to watch, and then you still haven't decided. So. Yeah? Yep, there we go. Yeah. Hey, guess, <laughs> guess what came on? So, on this day, back in 2013, mm. Night of the yep. Doctor was released. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, I might watch that. I love that. I love that short so it's, much. It's pretty damn good. It's so damn good. I remember, <laughs> I, remember I got home. And I saw, like, I was just on the toilet having a dump and uh, scrolling uh, Dr. TV. And I saw, like, Paul McGann returns to, returns to Dr. Who. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, mm. Yeah, I remember I was like, I need to watch this as quickly as I can, but I'm currently pooping. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. And then I was like, I don't also want to watch this on my phone. I want to watch this on my computer. And, like, my computer back then, it was an old piece of crap. So mm. it, like, took ages to boot up. I remember I was so uh, I watched it like twice in a row. I watched it. I was like just blown away, and I watched it again. And yeah, mm. man, maybe the best thing to come out the fiftieth. Like, cause, and I missed cause... it entirely till the next day. Yeah, I know. I came and I was like, <laughs> "Did you see it?" <laughs> you were like, "What?" I was like, "Paul McGann, yeah. he returned." I don't like, know. Back like, then, that's weird. It's, it's crazy like... now. We take it for like so mm. granted, but back then, like mm. his regeneration was never explained. You know, like, mm. and now we've got mm. the roof doctor, and it ruins it all again because we had every yeah. regeneration. We had them all on screen. We need to see the roof doctor regenerate and all the other incarnations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh... well, they're not the doctor. She's just roof, but somehow has the same. Oh God, they need to explain it. <laughs> I need to explain how they have uh, the same name. Yeah, yikes. Um, might well do. But yeah. I guess the other thing, like, I, I guess going back to a little bit Tunnel of Victorious, but yeah, I got the I got the latest Dot Two magazine. I haven't had a chance to read all of it, but I did read, I guess, just to go along with <laughs> kind of the, um, the comic reviews every week <laughs> at the minute. Um, I, I did read the um, final part of like the. I've forgotten the name now, but the, like, vampire, the, the, the vampire one, <laughs> with the Night Doctor, and it was a decent enough finale. Like I'd say, it's better than the second part, but doesn't kind of reach the heights like the first part of it. I guess mm. you know it, it it wraps things up nicely enough. Although the actual solution, kind of how it wraps it up, is a bit of like a Dex Machina. They start, yeah, they kind of bring the Doctor suddenly has something and finishes off the plot, like <laughs> you know, within the last. I see. pages so that was a that was a little disappointing but you know it's all enough like the first part was really strong and then like the, the, the second two parts were fine enough i guess you know a little disappointing it's quite reached the heights of like that first like issue but yeah a perfectly fine read you're getting your doctor magazine <laughs> you're gonna get your, <laughs> you get your comics, you're perfectly fine comics. <laughs> yeah mm. wow well, I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, I think so. I don't think anything else, really. Yeah. No, that's it. I think that's it. Uh, so, uh, oh, oh, that was oh. that was one article I read, which is like, um, which is probably like just some like this isn't like a widely reported one. So I think it was I I just spotted this on Twitter and like I I think it was probably just like crap, maybe some clickbait one, but like they said like in the next series they might um. They're they're saying like they're they're thinking about a removing the police from the TARDIS because of uh, Black Lives Matter and then Rubbish. establishing that the Jodie's doctor is bisexual. I think both of those are pro well bisexual. Well, I mean, I imagine well. her in terms of her bisexuality. I don't think that's. I mean, I actually I always assumed that she was outright just like I don't. I imagine the sexuality never changed for the doctor like between generations. So like you know, if the doctor was into women before. I see the doctor's still into women. I, I to me it's changes. like well I think they just I never really like one I always felt like they just kind of fuck whatever like I think they're above yeah. that to care about like 
ooh, I'm True. straight, yeah. ooh, I'm bi. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think they it's, label it. Particularly it's when like, they establish that time lords can, you know, switch between genders. Yeah, I think, you Genders know, on regenerations. It's like, yeah, it doesn't... It's like, sorry, I don't, as, I don't, as a species, I you'd be kind of, so yeah. past that by that point. Like, exactly, you just, yeah. I don't think you'd care. You'd just be like, yeah, I'm... What, like, it wouldn't yeah. matter. Like, to them, yeah. like, I don't think they care. Like, it's just... I mean, granted, yeah, they've never outright, like, had it kind of explicitly on screen in terms of, like, the Doctor, you know, and men, but, yeah, yeah, it's not it's not much of a reach at all. But, yeah. Like, especially given, again, how they've, like, now established Time Lord's society and, you know. Honestly, I think makes that's sense. crap. I don't think they'll remove police because it's a police phone box. I mean, like, you might as well mm. just change the exterior if you're going to do that, like. Yeah, just well, I mean, that, my, like I said, they're discussing it. So I mean, that well, it, it, that, that article says they're discussing it. So uh, like, um, maybe they'll just fix the comedian circuit, but like, I, kind I of, mean, that would kill. We struggle to see that. Really... Like, I struggle to see how that would help. Nothing like, will. Like, it's is it, so it, that is not what people are. Are, yeah. are marching against and marching against police brutality like exactly nothing exactly. to do why would doctor who be any if someone's getting offended over this they're clearly their their worries are in the wrong fucking place a sci-fi yeah. family show like concentrate on the real fucking world i'm sorry like mm. i'm pretty sure that's just shit stirrers trying to you know people who don't like yeah. the jody because yeah. there's so many that probably is yeah. like i said I, I i i i yeah i wasn't taking it too seriously but i just figured it's something to bring up because yeah. like i i saw it i was just like hmm i yeah <laughs> again i don't care if they do it or not like sexuality is such like a well, sexuality like yeah that's no problem. like whatever like yeah. do whatever you yeah. want like uh, yeah it's yeah, a family literally. show you're not gonna have them fucking on screen are you <laughs> you know like it's, it's like, <laughs> and if anyone has a problem with it like fucking grow up like jesus christ this is the direction that yeah. it's going well, esp- especially it. after well i i struggle to think anybody who's still watching doctor who at this point would have a problem with it yeah. <laughs> considering and lie, they, they managed to get past 2005 where jack kissed the doctor you know yeah exactly like they did it back yeah, you know, then. They... Why are people celebrating it now? Like, okay, cool. Of course, you had Bill in the TARDIS for a whole season, and yeah. you know, it's like, you know, it's cool. Whatever. <laughs> like, like, sure, do it if you want. Uh, if it make if if it's good for the story, then go for it. Like, as long as it's story driven, I don't I don't mind too much. You know. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah, want well, the doctor that, just out of nowhere to just randomly kiss someone. Like, okay, that'd be a bit weird. But if it's you know, as a clear attraction and as a love story that builds, sure, go for it. You know. Yeah. Maybe that's what they'll do if it's just Yaz and the Doctor. Maybe that's what will happen, you know? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of the police phone box, I think that's just, you know, people who are like, what would get the, you know, the fan base angry? What, what would get the right wing side of the fan base yeah. really upset? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And yeah, it's just, it's just such a topical thing because a lot of people are, you know, all lives matter and, you know, that rubbish. Of course, obviously, all lives matter. You Dingwits! It's the point that the others black lives. All lives could only matter when black lives matter. That's the whole thing. Yeah, it's like, God, it's cringy. But it's those people. Those people are the ones who actually have all these issues and like, oh, yeah, 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 rubbish. I mean, that that that's that's why these articles stir the pot because they know it's going to get. They've angered me. They've got me. I've fallen into their trap, but against them, (laughs) not with them. Um, but But again, I don't see why these people. If they that why, much why against it, that I don't even see why they'd be like still lies. watching the show at this point. Yeah, <laughs> it's I don't know, like some kind of like ownership over it. I guess that if if they like like when Jodie leaves, it would be because oh she's had enough of her fans or you know some crap like that. And you'll see it on the news. You'll see you'll see shitty articles and people writing absolute lies about you know why things ended you know it's going to be every mm. season is going to be jody's going to leave jody's gonna, when she leaves we're like we we were right it's like well <laughs> fucking well done after three series usually the actor does you know there's a lot of idiots out there yeah. don't yeah, be one of them if you're listening youtube videos that get like not one of many views yeah uh. and we get like 17 nice i'm proud of yeah. our 17 <laughs> Right, well, I think we'll wrap it up there because we're getting close to uh, 50 minutes. So, uh, you know, put below what you think about the next series. Do you want Joe to stay for another season? Um, and what do you think of Daleks, the animated series, the first episode? What do you think? What do you think? Let us know. Uh, keep it peaceful. Share the peace. Share the love. 
Um, yeah, there we go. We'll see you probably yeah. in a fortnight time, uh, just because I'm so busy at the minute with trying to make a film. Um, so mm -hmm. we will catch you next time. We'll see you next time. Probably not catch you. and probably not see you, but next time. <laughs> something will happen. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>